Today on Burger Fit Friday, we are gonna be making an acorn squash mashed potatoes, and they will fool anybody because we do it all the time in our house. Especially my dad, he doesn't even know what he's eating most of the time because if he knows, he won't eat it, which is why I created Burger Fit in the first place. Along with our acorn squash mashed potatoes, I have got a Burger Fit burger, and I've got the four pepper Burger Fit burger, and mine always has a little bit of a kick because I love spicy food. I've got a roasted acorn squash here. Cut it in half, you just scoop the seeds out with a spoon, and I roasted it in the oven for about oh 30 or so minutes at 425 you're really just looking for it to get soft if you have a bigger acorn squash it may take closer to 40 minutes this one was relatively small and all you do is you just start scooping it out it is so easy once it's nice and cooked it just comes right out of that skin all right I've got the acorn squash all scooped out and into this pot I'm gonna heat this on a kind of a low setting not all the way low but a lower low and I'm gonna add some plain yogurt. Now, if you have sour cream at home, you can substitute that. I just always have plain yogurt and I think it really substitutes nicely, especially for these. So I've got some plain yogurt. I've got my smoked burger fit salts that I'm going to add on less. I've got some white pepper and I've got some stone ground coops mustard and I'm going to actually stir that in last. So it gives that nice little pop of color and those stone grounds show up really nicely. I'm going to let this cook just for a second and I'm going to get some of the yogurt added in there. All right, so I've got some yogurt in there and I might add more. I'm just going to see how this uh, goes. I didn't have a huge acorn squash, so I don't want to overpower it. So I'm going to stir that together and then I'm going to let this cook down and get some of that moisture from the acorn squash out of there. Let me get that uh, white pepper added to it. And now, like I said, I'm going to let it cook down. The acorn squash is a really watery squash and then with the yogurt as well, I just want some of that moisture to cook out of it so it gives us a nice thick mashed potato with that acorn squash. One thing I forgot to say that I did add a about a half clove of garlic. It was a really large clove of garlic, so I didn't want to overpower so I did about a half but if you have a smaller clove use that or you can always add more now I'm going to use an emulsion blender I'm going to use it to whip up the acorn squash and all the ingredients together and really break down that garlic Now, if you don't have an emulsion blender, that's okay. You can mince the garlic ahead of time, add it in there, and then just use a whisk or a fork and just whip that together uh, with manually with your hands. My brother really likes to use his KitchenAid mixer to make mashed potatoes, so really use the tools you like and the ones that you have available. It's no big deal. And I'm just gonna let this cook for a couple minutes more just to get all those flavors cooked in there. All right, now it's a nice thick consistency. It looks so beautiful. You can see it's just a nice whipped consistency like you would mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna add about a half tablespoon to a tablespoon of our stone ground coops mustard, and then I'm gonna plate it. All right, get that stirred in there. Oh, it looks great with those stone grounds in there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be perfect. I cannot wait to eat lunch with our four pepper burger fit burger with this on the side and Fletcher is not even gonna know he's eating a squash. It's gonna be amazing. You can get more recipes just like this on getburgerfit.com and you can get Coop's Mustard on their website and on Amazon. Happy Burger Fit Friday, everybody.